As always, these battles to the death are brought to you by Southern Edge Knifeworks. Go visit southernedgeknifeworks.com, use the code SDSEK at checkout, and you get 15% off and free shipping in the continental United States. 15 bucks if you live outside of the U.S. Still not a bad deal. Please go check them out. They do a great job of making these battles to the death possible. Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another battle to the death for you. Today, we have a rematch. It is the Benchmade full-size bug out versus the giant mouse Ace Iona, but these are the new versions. They have both leveled up. His power level is now over 9,000! I, I know it's a terrible Vegeta impression, but you guys do not know how long I've been wanting to put that reference into a video, and I'm so glad I finally got to. So now that I've indulged myself, uh, we'll move on here. Yes, this is the CF Elite bug out with the new stiffer scales, and this is the aluminum handled Iona. Completely replacing the FRN with, as the name would indicate, aluminum scales. So uh, it, it was definitely worthy of redoing the Battle to the Death again. And now with prices changed, these two are much closer together in price than the original Grivery and FRN versions were. Uh, you're looking at 144.50 for the bug out and 140 for the Ace Iona. Um, I will say the price difference between these upgraded models and their previous versions stark difference the regular bug out is 127.50 the regular iona with the same blade and everything but uh, full line, full steel liners and frn scales is only 99 bucks so quite a big price jump up to the aluminum not that big of a price jump up to the cf elite uh, to get that out of the way uh, how do these things work uh, we have seven categories design and aesthetics quality blade ergonomics carry deployment and value Everybody gets a point for each category they win. We add them up at the end, and we pick a winner. Um, I am going to note where th these have flipped, since, like I said, this is a rematch. So a couple of categories have flipped one way or the other. I'll note those as we go, and we'll see uh, what the what the results are, if, if the result is different. Uh, let's do some specs and talk about these knives individually before we get too much farther. We will start out with the Iona. Uh, like I said, uh, it is a... A aluminum handle version of the original. The original with the FRN had the ANSO cutouts in it, which I was okay with, but they weren't completely my jam. But some people really don't like them. Uh, they do make the knife very grippy, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, but you know, they are they are a bit different looking. It's just kind of an aesthetic thing if you like it or you don't. I really like the looks of the aluminum. It looks really great. Uh, you are getting an M390 blade on this, which is pretty awesome very well built. Uh, I've never had a problem with an Iona. Um, it's it's just a really nice knife. Deep carry pocket clip. Really do enjoy the Iona. I think this was a big improvement. Makes it a bit heavier, but uh, it, I still like it a lot. Speaking of heavier, let's do the stats. We have an overall length of 7 inches, a blade length of 2.9 inches, blade thickness of 0 0.12 inches, handle thickness of 0 0.5 inches, and a weight of 3 ounces. So as you'll see, it's significantly heavier than the bug out, but I still think it's light enough to be in that same sort of category, and especially size and price and all that. The CF Elite bug out. So the biggest problem people had with the original bug out was the Grivery scales. You could almost make them touch if you squeezed them. Uh, these are still sort of fancy plastic, but they're super fancy plastic. The CF Elite material has uh, some carbon and stuff in it. I have it on another Benchmade knife as well. Uh, I really like it, and it does make it significantly stiffer. Yes, you can still flex the scales, but it's much harder to do. It just makes the whole knife feel a lot more solid uh, than it did before. And like I said, the price is $144.50 instead of $127.50. So uh, a jump, but not a giant jump to get the uh, CF Elite scales. But yeah, your S30V blade, and you're stuck with the black on black on black if you want the CF Elite, at least for now. I imagine, I don't know if you can do colors with the CF Elite. I'm not sure how those come out when you try and do that, but uh, I, I'm hoping that there'll at least be, you know, a, a regular satin blade version at some point. We shall see. The CF Elite is new to the world. So um, let's do some spec skin overall length of seven inches. Oh, sorry, wrong page. Seven and a half inches. How about that? Overall length of seven and a half inches, blade length of three and a quarter inches. Blade thickness of just 0 0.09 inches, handle thickness of 0 0.42, and a weight of just 1.8 ounces. The CF Lead is also a little bit lighter than the standard the, the standard bug out. Now, let's get into these scorable categories. 
uh, design and aesthetics. Um, I do like the overall shape of the bug out better. I do not like that you're just stuck with black on black on black. Um, Benchmade's doing a lot of weird choices lately with some color stuff. I kind of get it with the CF Elite. This was the first CF Elite model. It's got some carbon in it. I kind of get the design theme they're going for, but I would still prefer not to have the coated blade. The Iona and aluminum is available in two different colors, this blue or a green. It looks almost gray, really. Um, it's, it's a pretty cool color, but I chose to go with the blue satin blade. I just, I, I have to go, I have to go Iona because I don't like being stuck with just completely blacked out murder spec. It's, it's not my thing. So I have to go Iona on design and aesthetics, which I did on the previous one too, apparently. Uh, quality. Uh, this category flipped um, last time I did narrowly uh, give it to the Benchmade. This time I'm giving it to the Iona. Uh, it just feels like an infinitely more solid knife um, in the hand and the bug out. Some people have had, when I did the bug out before, I only had it for like a year. More problems are cropping up with, you know, Omega Springs and things like that. And, you know, people getting that are off-centered and stuff. And haven't had that problem with Iona. There's not nearly as many out there to get anecdotal reports on, but the, the two that I've had definitely weren't like, you know, selected for me or anything like that. Uh, this one I just bought at, you know, Full Boat Retail. The other one was a gift from a viewer, and they were both perfectly fine uh, quality-wise. No issues there. And like I said, this just feels like a much more solid knife because it is, you know, it's aluminum instead of uh, CF Elite. So quality flipped over to the Iona this time. Uh, blade. Um, these two have kind of different blade philosophies. I talked about this in the in the previous Battle to the Death. A um, little bit thicker blade stock on the Iona. Um, thinner, obviously, by a significant margin on the bug out. I think the bug out's a little bit slicier. It's a, it's a, um, uh, behind the edge though, it's a little bit thicker where it's like but it's almost exactly the same. 0 0.22 versus 0 0.20. Very, very close. But this does have thicker blade stock, but they're both really slicey. They're both plenty slicey enough for anybody. And I just like that you're getting a much more robust tip. See if I can do both of them here. On the, uh, on the Iona. It just looks like a knife that's meant to do a bit more than the bug out is. I think this is more kind of a medium use knife where I would still, I would still qualify this as light to medium use knife, but I think this is a full on just medium use kind of knife. And it's freaking M390 versus S30V and it's not coated. So blade, Iona. Um, ergonomics. Uh, Ergonomics, I, I got to get to the bug out. And it's it's just, it's ergonomics. It's how it feels in your hand. I do like the way this feels in the hand better than the previous version. Um, well, the, it's not a previous. They're still making it. But, you know, the, the less expensive version. Um, I do like the way this feels better. It's smoother in the hand. But you do lose that grip that you had from those Anso, that Anso texture on the grips. Um, and it just barely fits my hand. I have... Large size hands, but fairly skinny fingers. And it barely fits. And I can feel the pocket clip. It's not uncomfortable at all. I really, really do like the knife a whole lot in hand. It's not objectionable in any way. But the bug out, even though it's got a thinner handle, it just fits better. You don't feel the pocket clip at all. And it's just it's just a much more comfortable knife. And it's grippier with that textured CF Elite. Yeah, ergonomics, they're both fine, but a pretty easy win for the bug out on that. Now, carry. Um, this is another one that flipped. Uh, last time I did give it to the Iona uh, because I'd you know, previously, I think I said in the video, once or twice a bug out has fallen out of my pocket. Um, that's just not true anymore. I don't know at, at that time. I mean, I was doing crazy stuff. Maybe I was in a phase of doing handstands or something, but I uh, haven't had a bug out fall out of my pocket, this or the Mini in a long time. Uh, but it's not only just that, it's that now the weight difference is very significant. You've got 1.8 ounces versus 3.2. Uh, they both slide in out of the pocket almost fairly exactly the same. They're both pretty equal getting your hands passed and all that. You don't have any flipper tabs sticking out on either of these, and, and they're they're fine. Uh, but this is just so light now, 1.8 ounces versus 3 ounces. Um, it's 
yeah, it's almost hard to even call this a lightweight anymore, like I said, but I think in a lot of other categories, they're still the same. So they both, they're both fine. I have no issues with carrying either of them. Uh, but yeah, that weight difference can no longer be ignored. Where previously, I think this was only just a tick, uh, a tick uh, heavier. And like I said, I'd had a bug out fall out a couple times. I think maybe my OG bug out just had a loose pocket clip or something, but um, uh, loose spring tension on the pocket clip. But now that does, that does change. Uh, one category that has most definitely not flipped and is going to go to the bug out is a deployment. You're talking thumb stud liner lock on washers versus an axis lock. Well, also on washers, but still axis lock. is just so much more fun to play with. It does that. You know, it does all the little things you want. You want an axis lock to do when your finger's not in the way. You can spidey flick it. You can open it with the thumb studs. You can just open it with the, It's so much more fun. This is fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's just not exciting. It does have great detent. It does rock it right out, but you've only really got one way to open it. And it doesn't really even fall shut much. You kind of have to give it a few shakes as you saw there. It's just easy. Easy peasy win for the bug out um, on that. Now, value, our final category. Uh, previously was a tie uh, because they were, I think, 99 and 115 at the time. Uh, there were some things I liked better about the Benchmade, you know, the, the warranty and all that stuff, but the materials were better on the Iona, so I called it a tie. This time, I'm not. Uh, this time, I am going to give it to the Iona. Um, it's just, it's M390. It's aluminum handles. It's a very, uh, it's just a very robust knife. This could be a complete everyday EDC all the time. So probably could the bug out, but I think this is just, this just makes me feel a bit more secure to use it that way. Um, but if you're looking for a true lightweight, uh, this isn't. So if you came here to watch this review to see which one of these two lightweight knives should I buy, um, it's, it's, this isn't really a true lightweight. Three ounces is pretty light, don't get me wrong, but get the other one. I think the other one's two and a half or something like that. And honestly, if I did another battle to the death with their prices at, you know, 99 bucks versus this, it would destroy it. Because if you want fancy plastic handles that are stiffer, you can get that with a regular um, Iona in a whole bunch of different colors and all kinds of cool options and stuff. So I would uh, you have two different blade finishes. They have multiple colors. So I'm going to give the win to the value on the Iona aluminum with the caveat of if you do want a lightweight, uh, don't buy this one. Buy the buy the regular one uh, with the Anso pattern scales on it because they're 99 bucks and they're on 390 and, and they're really, really nice. And now I would I would say that too. If I was doing a rematch between the originals, between this and the basic grivery for $127.50 and the $99 Anso, because um, the prices went up a bit on the on the uh, bug out, yeah, I would I would now it would not be a tie. If I was redoing that original one, it would also go to the Iona. So in both forms, I think the Iona the Iona is a better value. It's just an even better value in the in the uh the original version. So Hope you guys have enjoyed this because this is the end. We come to a score of four to three with a win for the Iona. So uh, again, really cool knife. Maybe not technically a lightweight, but it's really close to it. And it, it carries lighter than it is. All that good stuff. So hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.